Hey guys, in this video, we have a bunch of different companies where you can get paid to send emails working from home and making some pretty good money. So the first one to check out here is a company called Order Desk, which is a company that provides services for automating and streamlining your order management workflow. They have a technical support specialist available right now, and they tend to do customer support via email. And here, you will work full-time hours as a technical customer support rep and primarily they will communicate with customers through email. So they tell you that right here. A normal support ticket here is the equivalent to an escalations ticket at another company. So if you love a challenge and you're inherently curious to know more, this is a job for you. So they're also committed to breaking structural barriers within the hiring process, making everything fair, and basically being an equal opportunity employer. So that's what this section's about. About you in terms of qualifications, you love to read and your analytical and written skills are top notch. So just like with any job where they talk about email or chat-based support or something like that, a good indication that they are not gonna have you on the phone much is when they put an extra emphasis on your written communication and not verbal. So they're doing that right here. Obstacles are not roadblocks to you. They are challenges to be figured out. You're a problem solver who likes to find solutions rather than wait to be told what to do. You're not afraid to ask questions or comfortable admitting your limitations and see your gaps in knowledge as opportunities to grow and not flaws. You're also comfortable finding your way around a new software program. You are very well self-directed and thrive in a remote environment, basically meaning you don't need to be micromanaged all the time. You appreciate the balance between fun and professionalism and you're collaborative and thrive on sharing your thoughts, ideas, and problem solving strategies with a diverse team. Requirements, minimum two years of working directly within email-based technical support and software as a service or combined technical and writing experience. Bonus points if you've already worked in a remote e-commerce role. Extensive experience, troubleshooting complex software issues, the ability to concisely explain technical concepts in a non-technical way, and a passion for meeting customers where they are in their tech knowledge. Fluency in both written and spoken English, the ability to work between Pacific Standard Time hours of 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. permanently, regardless of your physical location. So they, like they said, regardless of physical location. So you do not have to be located in the Pacific Standard Time Zone. Now, preferred skills here, which is not necessarily required, but would put you ahead of other candidates possibly. Experience troubleshooting APIs, JSON, and utilizing application log analysis. Sound knowledge of key data flow transfer protocols such as SFTP and FTP. Experience with rule-based automation in complex settings and experience helping new users implement software as a service applications in a B2B environment. They also mentioned some benefits here, like it's full time. They start you at $55,000 a year. They have an international team as well, and they offer benefits like flexible time off, paid parental leave, access to wellness and health services and technology upgrade programs to ensure everyone has all the tools they need to do their job. They also meet up once a year for company retreats. They've been to US, Mexico, and Vietnam as a few examples. So these are the requirements for this job here, again, a technical support specialist. They do say United States for this one. I don't know if that's just because that's where their headquarters is located or if you only can apply in the United States. They didn't really go into depth about this because they do also say they are an international team. But as far as what it's like to work at Orderdesk, they have a five out of five star rating. 100% recommend working here to a friend so far. Uh, benefit wise, they don't have a lot of reviews, but so far five out of five is obviously great. Interview wise, 3.3 out of five difficulty, maybe slightly above average, and then experience pretty pretty average, 50-50 between positive and negative. Next, we have an influencer marketing platform called Creable, which is at creable.com. They are actually hiring for a sales development rep. And before you question why I would put a sales development rep job in here, this is not like your typical sales development rep job. Typically a sales development rep will be on the phone, cranking out calls all day, maybe shooting some emails out as well, kind of starting the sales process, doing a lot of outbound uh, contact. But with sales development reps at Creable, you actually do a lot of email and LinkedIn as your main form of communication. So they tell you that right here. 
that you will play a vital role in generating leads and setting the stage for successful sales by connecting with potential clients through email outreach and LinkedIn. So that's essentially what you're doing. You're gonna build a pipeline of potential buyers, reach out, reach out to prospects via email and LinkedIn, you're going to average a certain amount of demos per month with qualified leads, track and report lead generation, outreach activities, etc. Qualifications, demonstrate a track record of achieving and exceeding goals, especially in sales or lead generation context. Experience in sales or lead generation with a strong preference for experience in a startup environment. Exceptional written and verbal communication skills with proficiency in LinkedIn and email for outreach and networking. Goal-oriented with a proven ability to initiate conversations, build relationships, and close deals. Independent and resourceful, capable of thriving in a fast-paced, dynamic environment. And a team player who collaborates well with others to meet collective goals. So those are the things they're looking for. They don't mention much in terms of benefits or things like that. And as far as reviews, they don't really have a lot of reviews. I think they're kind of a small team. They seem to be between one and 50 employees. We don't know exactly how many, and they don't really have enough for reviews and benefits yet. But it seems like a small team. Again, it's an influencer marketing platform where you know, you know, people like me who have followings online can go and build their brands. In terms of how much a sales development rep could make before I forget, this is a type of job where you may not know exactly how much they will pay you at a given company. It just depends on your performance. But at a company like Creable, if they are paying competitively, if they have a good commission structure, you could average as much as 30, 134000 a year, according to what just the average position could earn in the United States. Obviously, that's with very high additional income, and that's also with a high base pay. So it could be significantly less than that. But it, do, it just shows you averages of what people have reported for a sales development rep in the U.S., just as an example. So next we have a company called Zapier. Zapier is one that is hiring for all sorts of new jobs lately. This is a company I used to cover all the time a few years ago, but then they didn't have a lot going on that I thought were the type of jobs you would want, you know, normally on this channel if you've been following me a while. You know, a lot of them had been engineering jobs, things that required a lot of experience, but Zapier is an all-in-one web integration platform which basically allows you to integrate a bunch of pretty much anything that's an app or some sort of you know service that you can connect to the web whether it's your smart devices your you know smart fridge your smart home whatever it is at your house or even your social media accounts and other things like that so it's kind of an all-in-one integration and automation company but they have things like technical support specialists available right now they have more than one of these available if you go to the uh, support section they have three different ones available right now they had another one in the asia pacific region it looks like it got filled it's not on there anymore and then if you missed one of my other videos i talked about the sales assist rep in a different video but as far as what you would do in a technical support specialist position here first off they're nice enough to let you know what amount of money you could expect here which is somewhere around 58 to 88 thousand dollars a year and that's both for us and canadian um, people who are applying here also if you want to know more about their benefits they'll tell you that on the careers page so the benefits they offer here are healthcare, dental and vision retirement plans with employer match and if you're not in one of the countries where they offer that, they basically give you extra money in your pay, apparently, to cover those things. You can work from almost anywhere in the world, flexible time off policy, which doesn't seem to have a minimum or maximum. It's about four to six weeks a year is what most people will take. And one annual company retreat to an awesome place, 14 weeks of 100% fully paid leave for new parents if you want to start a family. Anniversary rewards at 135 and 10 years with the company, lifestyle spending account, spending account for job related expenses and fertility and family planning support. So they seem to take good care of you here. Now, as far as the actual job itself, um, about you, they want you to be highly skilled in technical customer support. They want around two years experience in customer support and software as a service. Uh, you love working tickets, which typically refers to email-based support. You're highly productive and you bring your A-game to the queue every day. You love solving problems. You're always looking, up, looking to level up your knowledge and skills. You keep it simple. You're persistent. 
you love doing things efficiently, you're empathetic to users, and you love to write. So one thing I want to point out here is that this company typically does almost everything via written form in terms of communication here. So written communication is done between not only you and customers, but you and team members as well. And I think part of that is because one, they're an innovative company, but two, they are a worldwide company and it makes it easier for everybody to understand each other by doing text-based communication. So, and a lot of people like that. A lot of people don't wanna be on the phone all the time anyway. So I think you'll like working here. You're highly accountable to outcomes, you're a champion of change, and you like to set your own course. So they'll tell you right here, you know, things you're going to do. Essentially, the main thing you need to know is you're going to help customers via email and chat. You're going to hit a certain amount of emails every day, which is typically around 60 troubleshoot problems, etc. And then you get, you help customers across both paid support and premier support teams and just basically answer questions all day is essentially what you're doing. So as far as how many of these are available? Again, they have like three different ones available right now in different part of different parts of the Americas and Europe, Middle Eastern, Middle East and Africa. As far as what's like to work here, we do have a, a good sample size of data from people who have worked here. They have uh, over 500 employees, 3.3 out of five stars, and they have a 53% rate in terms of recommending working here to a friend. Benefit wise at Zapier, they have a 4.5 out of five star rating at a 43 ratings, which is very good. And then you have a 3.1 out of five difficulty rating, which is fairly standard. And experience wise, 47% positive compared to 36% negative. I'd say slightly above average. Next, we have a company called Interaction Design Foundation, which is at interaction-design.org. And they have online UX design courses by experts with industry recognized certificates here. So they have an admin and support specialist here. This is a full-time remote long-term position accommodating time zones across Europe, Africa, South, Central, and Western Asia. Multiple spots are open for this role. Now, I don't know if this means you're gonna be working these regions. They're gonna sign you a region in one of these areas of the world to do support for if that means, or if that means you have to actually live in one of those regions. They don't really say right there. But as far as what they're looking for, they want you to be a strong communicator and a good troubleshooter. You have an eye and for detail and a desire to help people. And what you'll be doing is you will correspond daily with existing and prospective members across multiple channels, answering their questions and solving their problems. So essentially you are doing a type of support. You're gonna be an ambassador for the company. You're gonna collaborate cross-functionally with various teams within the company, things like that. You'll have certain KPIs you have to meet. So about you, you thrive in a fast-paced environment with ad hoc projects or varying complexities. You're excited to help people and earn their gratitude. You're resourceful and autonomous. Attention to detail is a big part of your nature. You enjoy solving ad hoc problems. You have outstanding written communication skills. So obviously the emphasis on Written communication skills is a big deal with this job. You know what ownership of a task means and how to deliver it. You crave consistency, strong prioritization skills, resilient and highly self-disciplined, meaning you don't need a lot of supervision. Bonus points, basically, they are going to really hammer home, you know, your written communication skills and being able to have good grammar, editing and writing skills. You have a background in UX or UI or something along those lines. So all of this stuff is a bonus. It's not necessarily required, of course. So what they offer you. Now, this is not traditional in terms of benefits here. So if you're thinking what benefits normally are listed at a company, this is a little bit different. They're basically just telling you more about the culture instead of like what you get in terms of a 401k or you know how much time off you get and things like that. So they do tell you it's a it's a full-time position. They do have meetups for trips at the company one to two times a year. But if you wanna know more about what it's like to actually work here, one thing I recommend doing is just going to their careers page here. And then when you scroll down to their benefits, one of the main benefits that really sticks out in terms of what I usually look for in a company is the fact that they let you work from anywhere, anytime. So they tell you work from home, a co-working space or anywhere else and create your own work schedule. You enjoy complete freedom as long as you continuously deliver great results. So they give you lots and lots of freedom here. Some companies, they'll do that instead of giving out a bunch of very particular benefits like, 
you know, a 401k plan or a lot of different types of insurance that's covered for you and your family. Different companies operate different ways, but I think a lot of people really appreciate being able to work from almost anywhere and also almost any time that you want. Now, as far as how much you could earn as an admin support person, they don't really have that job listed on their Glassdoor page yet. But typically an admin specialist makes somewhere around $58,000 a year. Next, we have a company called Quick Mail, which is basically like an email outreach platform. It also deals with LinkedIn and inbox rotation. They have a technical support agent position that's still open right now for someone who may want to do things like email support. $36,000 to $42,000 a year is what this job pays. As you can see, they're very upfront about that. And they also tell you that no, not everyone checks every box. So even if you are not going to meet every single qualification on the list, they still want you to apply. So they also say they're a, they're a meritocracy, which is basically like the culture at the company, which is you know kind of open and transparent. Work remotely. They also take yearly team retreats to Thailand. They have open book management and focus on learning and personal growth with $100 a month for learning books and courses. So again, they're a cold email outreach solutions company. They also deal with LinkedIn and stuff. And about the role, you're gonna be part of the customer support team. You're gonna be the first point of contact for users as well as prospecting users who have questions before signing up. So basically it's customer support, maybe a little bit of sales in there, but they also mention that you're gonna be uh, basically answering support tickets, which tells me it's email based. So your responsibilities include solving problems and providing the best solution basically understanding how quick mail works guiding potential users through plan decisions and account setup so again you may be i don't know if they'll really have you upselling necessarily but you're going to help them also create an account and get started and not just answer questions for existing comp, uh, customers they also will have you create bug reports for developers if needed and as far as what they're looking for for this job in terms of qualifications, you can solve problems. You're a persistent person and you're comfortable with the unknown. You're always curious and going beyond the surface level of understanding. You're comfortable giving and receiving feedback. You can make informed decisions without waiting for a go signal. Another job where you don't wanna to have to be the type of person that needs to be told what to do all the time. You have a fast and reliable internet connection. They do tell you that at least 50 Mbps is something they're kind of looking for. It's a little higher than a lot of companies usually ask for, but uh, it's still very doable, I think, for most people, especially if you are in a first world country. You demonstrate great attention to detail by entering penguin when asked what is your favorite animal. So don't actually give them your favorite animal. Just say penguin. That's basically telling them that you actually read through this whole thing. Fluent English speaker and then okay with working in Europe or Eastern Standard Time US time zones. So I think this just means based on your hours, it's not necessarily that you have to live in one of these. Otherwise they wouldn't be like, are you okay living here? Like they wouldn't be, they, that doesn't make any sense. That's just more like your hours are probably gonna be based around nine to five in Europe or nine to five in Eastern Standard Time Zone. Bonus points, basically not required, but would set you apart from other candidates is experience working as technical support and software as a service or other email software, experience working in a fully remote team, experience in handling sales inquiries or business development and knowledgeable in the email ecosystem. So if you have any of those, don't leave that out of your resume. So as far as what's like to work here, they have a page here, but they don't really have a lot of reviews yet. So it's really hard for me to draw any conclusions here. I mean, difficulty 3.3 out of five, but like I said, you don't really have a big enough sample size to gather a lot of conclusions. They have a team of one to 50 employees. They're based in Switzerland. And this is a company that just, like I said, when you have that few employees, a lot of times you're not gonna have that many reviews because only a small fraction of employees that work somewhere actually leave reviews. Next, we have Coalition Technologies, which is a marketing and web design services company. And they are looking for, if you scroll down and look at their jobs and you're interested in sending emails, one of the most, um, email centric jobs they have right now is an email marketing specialist, which they tell you right here averages 15 to 35 an hour is typically where you will start. And they're looking for talented and diligent candidates who do well in their skills tests, which basically means that if you don't mean all, if you don't meet all the qualifications listed here, that's okay if you do well in the skills test. This is kind of a new age way of 
basically having people apply for jobs. I haven't seen a lot of companies do this yet. Every once in a while I see one um, like Coalition Technologies, Toggle.com is another one that does this. But when it comes to skills tests, it kind of leaves the door open of like, okay, I have the skills. I don't have necessarily the best looking resume in the world, but if I do well in the skills test, I can still get a chance of getting the job. So as far as what you actually get offered here, one thing to look at is that they don't care really where you are located. They basically say that they're 100% remote and they use time tracking software so that basically you can work from anywhere in the world. And they welcome your application wherever in the world it's coming from. They literally tell you that word for word right there. Benefit wise is listed here at the top. You have competitive profit sharing bonus plan, uh, a paying up to 50% of company profits to full-time employees each month, highly competitive paid time off plan, subsidized gym memberships, medical, dental, vision, and life insurance packages, international health insurance reimbursement program if you're outside the US, device upgrade and learning reimbursement program, motivating career development plans, and additional job specific incentives and bonuses. So you should have in terms of qualifications, good proofreading and editing skills, ability to strategize and implement email marketing campaigns, demonstrable knowledge of email best practices, which obviously includes a lot of different things, experience in st strategizing, creating and implementing drip campaigns, ability to write marketing copy, excellent verbal, interpersonal and written communication skills, strong analytical and quantitative skills, passionate about optimization and data analysis, self-directed, strong organizational skills, attention to detail, proficiency in commonly used email marketing platforms, knowledge and experience of email through ESP and CMS platforms, obviously working 40 hours a week because it's a full-time position. Typically, it's going to be somewhere between 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, ability to maintain a strict confidential and to be confidential and discreet, BA or BS degree in marketing business or related field is preferred, agency experience preferred. So those two are not necessarily required. Now, in terms of what you're doing, I mean, you're, you're an email marketing specialist. You're gonna create email campaigns, market to customers who subscribe to their email list and try to sell them services. So that's essentially what you're doing. I mean, you can read through all of this, but essentially it's just going to be a more detailed version of what I just told you. You're also going to be testing. You're going to, they tell you about A-B testing here. That basically means you're going to be testing what works and what doesn't. You're gonna be studying a lot of email marketing analytics to go along with this as well. You're also gonna to have to make sure that you don't trigger the, uh, the spam filters of these email marketing services. Like if you do a bunch of all caps or you, you, you post too much or you don't make it clear how to unsubscribe. There's a lot of different things where they have these spam compliance laws you have to meet so just stuff like that. You're going to run email marketing campaigns to get the company sales. Make sure that you A-B test and you're, you're not violating the spam compliance laws. Now, as far as what you're doing in terms of what it's like to work here, 4.4 out of 5 stars, 83% recommend working here to a friend. Very good ratings at Coalition Technologies. Benefit-wise, 3.8 out of 5 stars. Also very good. Interview wise, you have a 2.9 out of 5 difficulty. I'd say that's pretty average. Experience wise, 44% positive compared to 39% negative. Also fairly average. Most companies are very evenly split between positive and negative. And again, you can earn up to $35 an hour with this role. Last but not least, we have a company called Site123, which is a place where you can create a free website. It's a builder tool, which basically means you don't have to know how to code to build a website. Now, if you go to their job section, they're always looking for sales chat specialists, like all the time. And they're looking for energetic, multitasking salespeople to work here. So it's, it's a chat and email based job, but you're doing sales. You're not just answering questions about like bugs or, or problems with billing or something like that. So they want you to have experience and understanding of the website building field, proven experience of sales or customer service in general and via live chat excellent communication, analytical, listening and organizational skills, customer service skills, enthusiasm for helping people, excellent time management skills, attention to detail and can multitask, knowledgeable of social media applications like Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, competent in Microsoft Office and web browser environments, English level should be fluent or native, availability to work during standard working hours and days in the US and a team player with excellent communication. 
advantages, which is basically their preferred and not required section. Additional languages, so if you're multilingual, let them know knowledge of HTML and CSS, experience with other website builder platforms. Let them know about any of those things. And then responsibilities, very simple. Provide a positive customer experience, provide prices and increase sales through chat and also email. So it looks like there may be a little bit of upselling here. Build customer relationships as part of the sales team. So again, it's a sales job that's mostly chat and email. Kind of similar to the SDR job that you saw at Creable, but maybe a little bit different. So as far as how much you might earn here, they don't actually have a lot of reviews for um, how much these jobs pay here yet on their specific page. I think a pretty close comparison to this would be like a sales chat agent, which is around $60,000 a year. And in terms of what it's like to work here, so far they have a small sample size, but they have a 4.4 out of five star rating. So hopefully this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell if you want more daily work from home opportunities like these. Also, if you click the notification bell, you will get notified before everyone else and can get you ahead for these jobs. Also, if you thought this was a helpful video, please click the like button. It helps me know what types of content you prefer that I make. And also you can leave me a comment suggesting something that I talk about or cover in future videos and do that in the comment section. I'll try to get back to you or make content for you in that subject and I'll see you in the next video.